There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the week 10, June 15th um, release team meeting. I am Bob Killen, Mr. Bobby Tables, uh, filling in for Taylor, who is currently at his first day at HashiCorp. Um, if, if people see him online, uh, give him a, a nice little shout, congrats or something. Anyway, just go through the, the normal stuff, you know, this is a publicly recorded meeting. We abide by the code of conduct, which essentially boils down to be excellent to each other. Um, if you can, please uh, add your name to the agenda. And with that, let's kick it off with enhancements. Uh, yeah, so hello everyone. I'm Miroslav, Enhancements Shadow, and I'm standing in today for uh, Nabarun, who can join. Uh, so our, our overall status uh, is uh, green. Uh, when it comes to the metrics, nothing has changed uh, since the last call. Uh, we have a total of 44 enhancements being tracked and uh, 13 of which are in alpha stage, 18 uh, are in beta and 13 are in stable. And one additional thing to point out is that we've received four exception requests so far and all of them uh, were accepted. Yep, yeah, and that's, that's it. Thank you. Awesome. Does anyone have any questions for enhancements before we start uh, going through the rest of it? Okay, CI signal. Hey folks, hope everyone is doing well. Um, so we're looking pretty good um, from a CI signal perspective. Um, I have this as yellow. Um, we have a number of flaky tests on master blocking, um, but most of them are trending towards green uh, and just haven't had enough successful runs there. Um, still having some performance issues with the kind tests, um, but uh, those are getting better at least. Um, and then this GCU Ubuntu master container D um, is having an issue with a SIG networking test um, that is also uh, affecting the kind IPv6 test. Um, but we have some folks looking into that, um, so not too worried about that. Um, on master informing, um, the main thing that's been persisting for a little while now has been um, the OpenStack conformance job is uh, consistently failing, um, but we were able to get into, into contact with some folks on that team, and um, they basically just need to change their con uh, configuration to be able to run um, their tests on a Kubernetes cluster with more than one node, so we can do the um, SIG scheduling tests. Um, so they are looking into that. There's kind of uh, minimal um, help we can provide there, but we're trying to support as much as possible. Um, but looking pretty good. Um, and yeah, it seems like every every meeting, our boards are looking a little better, which is is good at this time of the release process. So yeah, honestly, can't ask for more at this point. Okay, does anyone have any questions for uh, CI signal before we move on to bug triage? Cool, bug triage, you're up. Hello everyone, my name is John Scarbeck. I'm a bug triage shadow for this uh, release. Um, chosen the color yellow, uh, for the most part, we're doing okay um, with the extended timeline. I'm hoping we still have plenty of time to uh, comment on various issues that are still creeping in, but. I think compared to 118, we're more than quadruple the number of uh, open issues in MR or uh, pull requests that we still have open at this moment in time. So um, expect to see more updates on various issues uh, as we escalate things to um, uh, SIG groups uh, for anything that still remains open um, as we lead up to code freeze. Any questions for me? Great, Bob. Cool. We'll just keep uh, chugging along then. Docs. Ah. Uh, hey, everyone. <laughs> Acri Estrella here, Doc Shadow. Um, we are currently yellow, and um, we're reaching out and telling everyone about the new deadlines um, and following up with that. Um, and that's about it. Happy Monday. Okay. If you need any help uh, poking people, please just like let me or Jeremy know too, and, and we can push where we can. 
Definitely. We could all poke together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, release notes. Everyone uh, wasn't here for release notes. Uh, we merged both uh, release notes draft and release notes websites for 119 beta 2. Um, uh, we don't really have any other news on top of that. Uh, if there are any questions. Do you know, did the one issue get resolved with the, I think it was a bad commit message or something like that? I don't think the, I can recall which issue you're talking about. Which is your oh no, sorry, I'm thinking of docs, my bad. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. No worries. Uh, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, I think the turnaround time uh, from generating release notes to getting it merged is less than two days now. So sounds like good news. That's awesome. And that is all. Cool. Does anyone have any questions? Cool. Uh, actually, if you don't mind jumping back to Docs briefly, do, did that one issue get resolved regarding the commit message? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, Anna, are you aware of that issue? Um, I'm not aware of the issue. Can you post the issue? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, follow up with it later. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay, that will take us to comms. Yep. Hey, everyone. Um, well, we are still green. Uh, we are still aligning also on the feature blocks. Um, having a look who is interested in writing one um, or contribute one to to the release cycle afterwards. Um, and we are also in the contact with the CNCF to outline some content for the release block, um, where we theoretically should next week send a first draft, um, but due to the stretched um, time which we have for this release cycle, um, I think we can also uh, give ourselves a little bit more time before we can proceed um, in depth with the CNCF folks. Cool. Sounds like things are honestly checking along. Um, does anyone have any questions? Okay. Release branch management. Yep, we don't have too much news for release branch management today, um, but I guess the most recent stuff um, is that we had our, our beta release cut uh, last week, um, which we mentioned on Friday, um, and we'll have our first RC cut uh, next week. So looking forward to that. Okay. Emeritus lead. Hey, I was just literally pressing send on um, rescheduling the All Shadows meetings from two weeks ago. So they'll be on for this week and the invites for that should have gone out. So check your mail for messages from the, the Shadows Google group for all the shadows out there. Um, and then the I guess the, the continual reminder, if as Shadows you have any global questions for the overall process or how things are working or things relative to your particular role, feel free to reach out to me on Slack or email or however you are able to get in touch with folks that you prefer. But um, I'm generally around and that's kind of what I'm here for, answering questions and helping make sure that things are going smooth. So that's pretty much it for right now. Cool. Does anyone have any questions for Tim? Okay. Uh, release lead update, a uh, little note from Taylor. Uh, this is regarding shifting the dates. I'll drop the link in chat as well. Um, if you could please take a look at that PR and just give a look over the dates and make sure everything looks good to you. I think at this point we're sitting pretty good, um, but you know, we'll see how things pan out. 
uh, six scalability updates. Uh, scalability jobs are looking good. Uh, there are no current regressions and they consider everything is green. With that, we'll pop on over to uh, open discussion. The first big thing, um, if you can, please remember to put any items uh, at Jeremy, we just commented on the PR. Jeremy, there's a hold on the PR for chair review. Okay. Now back to uh, open discussion. The first big thing is please remember to jot down any notes on the retro. It's much easier if uh, you jot them down during the release cycle instead of um, you know, at the end when you're trying to remember what's currently going on. And next is the prioritization session update. Uh, Lori, do you want to chime in on this? Yeah, so basically we have had five or six prioritization sessions, depending on um, how you want to look at them. And so I think we should wrap up this first series. If anybody didn't get to participate, uh, please drop me a line. I will coordinate and hook you up with all the details that you need to know. It would be great if you can add your notes to the spreadsheet of many, many items that we have been using throughout the uh, sessions, going over the different process improvements suggested in GitHub issues, documentation, et cetera, um, so that we can collect your feedback and your ideas on what the release team must and should prioritize process-wise uh, through 119 and 120. Um, again, process improvements being the idea. And then I think um, I'm wondering if anybody has any ideas for what they would like to see as next steps, like how they would like to have the information summarized and used um, if you would like to keep meeting uh, to shape the backlog of process improvements, to have a regular cadence around that. Um, Maybe if you have some ideas, we could just take a few minutes to hear them. I have some ideas, but I would like to hear yours first. I think I'm frozen in an awkward position. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> I'm coming to you live from the kitchen. Um, they, so basically, um, if, if no one has any feedback at this time, like you can let it uh, simmer uh, like the food in my frying pan at the moment. Um, but basically what I would like to do is start taking the notes from everybody and starting to just compile them myself into some overall themes, uh, which we've identified over the course of the many sessions. So for example, there were a lot of comments on the KEPs and the tooling that Jeremy's working on. So I've already begun taking some notes that Bob and Jeremy had collected and adding some of your notes from the, uh, the prioritization sessions to that document to basically start shaping up a roadmap for it. And then we could do similar efforts with any of the items on the CI signal topic. We have a bunch of documentation items that we talked about over the sessions. So again, we've identified themes along the way and it would just be a matter of organizing some of that information. Um, so I will, do, I will do that and if anybody would like to help, uh, feel free to drop me a line. Yeah. This would be basically summarizing your notes into uh, a smaller and simpler format. And yeah, some of those might actually make great items for the retro. Mm -hmm. Possibly. And then uh, there have been a lot of enhancements issues, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, also around you know some of it regarding Jeremy's tooling, but uh, some of that might happen over in an upcoming enhancements meeting, um, mm -hmm. and we can send that uh, you know when that meeting is scheduled, we can send it the the list too if people want to hop in on that one. Mm -hmm. With that, does anyone have any other? questions or comments? Thanks for organizing all of those, Lori. It's awesome to have you picking that up and pushing it forward. 
Well, thank you. And it was really, really fun. I mean, all the sessions were different. Some went really quickly, some were longer, um, like more, more comments, more back and forth discussion, but every one of them was very enjoyable. And I just really appreciate how everybody just came prepared and uh, were eager to help and eager to contribute. So it's definitely been a large help. <laughs> and we're not even, we're just getting started. So there's more on the way. I can't seem to turn my video off, so I think I'll just be awkward. It's, it's okay. Awkward frozen position. It's okay. Um, well, I think with that, we're... I'm sorry. I'm the person who comes in at the end now with my question. Um, for the dates PR that we're waiting for it to be merged, is, is an announcement then going to go out um, to everybody? And then how do you want the enhancements team to deal with that? Like, should we sort of ping the enhancements that are open and working to code stuff or, or do we so, just not say anything <laughs> so that they get it done quicker? I don't know. An, an announcement will go out to you, KDEV and the various uh, like okay. other sources. What I would do is on the ones that are actually in the current, you know, currently being mm -hmm. tracked is I would chime in and just let them know of the okay. date change of the enhancements freeze pushback. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Are there any other sort of questions or comments at this time? Okay. I think that's that. Pretty short meeting, about 20 minutes can uh, give you 40 minutes of your time back. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.